morning, Michael. I'm here at Chick-fil-A, and so are other people. You just got hello to by our sister, who was able to see this weekend because Tim and Nina got married. So the wedding was great, and it was great to see old friends from Rexburg again, and I'm pretty sure that some people watching this video should have been there as well. <coughs> Sarah, <coughs> and wait, what's that on the cake? Snowboarders? They are so meant for each other. <gasps> Luckily the wedding was in Salt Lake so I didn't have to go too far and that I didn't have to also get a ride with complete strangers and drive with them for four or five hours. So it was great. Oh, also I sprained my ankle after the reception on the moon, not even lying. So there I was standing on the moon on a moon rock with one leg out like this posing for the camera. Ow, I can't do that for very long, it hurts. Then I lost my balance. I put my other foot down to catch myself and luckily there was another moon rock there to catch me. Fortunately, this moon rock wasn't very big and it was kind of pointy and not flat. And so when I put my foot down on it, my ankle rolled. All right, so maybe it's not 100% sprained because I was able to walk out, and by walk out I mean limp and hobble. But hey, who else can say they messed up their foot on the moon? Not even Lance Armstrong can. Or Neil Armstrong, for that matter. Looks like I just won up that guy. I walked on the moon. See, I actually did something since you can tell because I'm wearing a foot brace there, an ankle brace. So it's obvious that I did something because obviously I wouldn't wear an ankle brace. I can't, ow. I need to stretch more. Obviously, I wouldn't be wearing an ankle brace if I didn't do something to my ankle. Badur, badur. It is true. Stop thinking I'm a big fat liar. Anna can testify. testify. Speaking of Anna, she's committed to uploading a video this Wednesday, so stay tuned. Unless you're Anna, of course, and in which case, stay on target. Also, I don't necessarily want to call anybody out in public like this, so I'm just going to say their name backwards, but apparently Anna hasn't been keeping up with these videos I've been uploading. Because apparently it takes a really long time to watch a four minute video once a week. By the way, Anna, how are those 3 a.m. cookies treating you? Michael, I hope at least you're watching them. If not, I'm not sure anymore who I'm making these videos for. Originally, it was meant for the three of us, talking back and forth to each other. And then it became just me to you. And now it's just... <sighs> me. I am alone. Alone in the desert. The sound of silence deepens, forcing the Nocturne of Shadow to emerge through the blackness. The darkness thickens, as if a velvet as pitch as black encircles the room. There is darkness, there is nothing, nothing but a deep, dark void that can only be filled by the applause of children laughing and giggling as they eat lollipops and frolic in the fields chasing butterflies. This is the only way the darkness will be alleviated, either that or adding new light to this pitch darkness. Will Ben remain shrouded in darkness until the end of time? Could this be the end of Coker Convos? Stay tuned!